In today's video, I'm gonna give you top five ways to make up to $550 a month as an international student studying in Turkey. Let's get into it. Let me start by stating that international students can legally work in Turkey after obtaining a student resident permit. However, foreign students who are enrolled in undergraduate or two-year associate programs can start working in Turkey only after completing their first year of study. If you meet these requirements, then there are a whole bunch of jobs you could consider doing. The first one of them is working in a hotel as a bellboy, bellhop, whatever you call it, or as a receptionist. Turkey has a lot of historical places and it attracts thousands of visitors at every time of the year, and in particular during summer. The demand for hotel workers is always high in cities which have story centers. Working as a bellboy or as a receptionist, it is mostly preferable for you to be able to speak either English or Arabic, as visitors normally speak one of these two languages. If you fall within this criterion, then this might be the perfect job for you. You can do this as a part-time job working during the day or at night, depending on which one suits you best. This particular job in Turkey is very lucrative and you will definitely make some good money. Let me also state that there is still a chance of you getting employed to work in a hotel to do other works apart from a receptionist or a bellboy if you can speak either English or Arabic. Number two on the list, working as a foreign language tutor. Do you know English? French, Arabic, or German, then you could consider working as a teacher in an institution or as a private teacher. The demand for foreign language teachers in Turkey is very high. Some institutions do not require you to have a certificate in order to work with them if you can prove to have sufficient knowledge on the language you wish to teach. However, some institutions might require you to have a certificate before you get employed. In most cases, you do not need any certificate to work as a private teacher. The payment for this kind of job is quite decent. You can expect to be making somewhere around $150 up to $550 a month depending on where you work. This work is also suitable for undergraduate students. You can arrange with your students to meet them according to your course schedule. You can be meeting them once every month and hour per each meeting and still be making some good money. Third on the list, working in a factory. Getting a part-time job in Turkey is very common. You can work in a furniture processing factory, food processing factory, and among others. The list is just vast. My advice to you is to consider doing this one during holidays because this kind of job normally requires long working hours which might be tedious for most students. But if you think you can cope with it then, you can do it during school days too. Some factories pay you based on the number of hours work, while others pay you depending on your work output. Number four on the list, and you can actually start doing this one right after watching this video, freelancing. Do you have any special skill that others might need your service? Then this is for you. If you are good at graphic design, video editing, photography, content writing, programming, translating from one language to another, then chances are high that many people are looking for your service out there. The good thing about freelancing is that it is flexible. You can work from home and in most cases at your preferred time. You can make some good money out of freelancing depending on how productive you are. Last on the list, working in a cafe or a restaurant. This one is very easy to get no matter which part of the country you find yourself. There are a whole lot of options available from working as a waiter or waitress to working as a valet. I mean parking cars for visitors at the restaurant. This kind of job might not seem easy to some people as it requires long hours of being on your feet with a city. I will encourage you to look for a job in a cafe or a restaurant during your holidays and if you have good stamina. If you are new to my channel, I make videos about studying in Turkey. I also vlog about my student life and share my experiences with you. So feel free to check this channel out and don't forget to support me by hitting on the subscribe button. See you next time.